got the Habitat 67 scene. I've quickly set up a plane with the image on the back, the main reference image I want to use. I have some other sketches and reference images around me. Again, the camera is locked to camera view. So when we go to the camera view, when we go to the camera view, the active camera view, it revolves around the camera, which is very useful when we're doing test renders and renders. And I've got some lights to light up the plane. And um, I've got a few images in the background, like so. But as I say, I, I don't really like the background images. I prefer using the planes to view to view things, it's easier because the plane revolves around in the 3D view. Okay, so I'm just going to take that onto perspective. And most of the modeling again is going to be done not in quad view, but with the full view. And some strategies for this very, very complex Expo 67 that I'm using. Firstly, I'm going to model one of these bases this section here and I'm going to use that to stack up and replicate and then I'm going to when I've done enough of that I'm going to concentrate on this this area here with all the details with the windows etc etc it's best if I start doing it and you'll see see the process in reality because earlier on I tried to do I modeled this one first in a in a tutorial that I had to redo. I'm redoing it now. So I did this and then I suddenly thought, oh no, these are all different. So I've got to duplicate it. So the first thing, this is like an element that, that repeats this bit here. So I'm going to model that first now. And then copy it around places and then concentrate on this detail. So add a plane which I like to do to refer to the grounds. I find this helps me when making architectural work. And then I'm going to add a cube. And this is going to be our base object. Just take the lights up so we can see the scene better. Okay, that one and that one. There we go there, take that down, so it's kind of a thin shape. And as you can see, there's kind of a small detail here with the inlets, and then there's the big face here. For now, I'm just going to do this detail here. And these blocks will be reference blocks for when I do the time lapse, the option if you're paying for the extras on this course the time lapse will show you that these initial blocks are just reference blocks and then I add another block and put more detail into each one but for now I'm going to look to do this this window thing at the top edit mode tab loop cut and slide Loop cut and slide here. Select the face here. Press I to inset. I on your keyboard. Inset it to where you want. Select the face. Extrude. Extrude inwards. Edge select. Select the edge here. Bring it back like so. You see in these ones are recessed as well, the glass bit. And then I'm going to take this back a bit. E for extrude. So that's the basic component. I'm going to actually take that scale it in a bit s oops s x oops 
try again. S X. So I think it's about there. So now scale it a bit. Still a bit fat. So Z. Okay. It looks a bit like a 1980s VHS player at the moment. And I'm going to start duplicating this object. So this one's this one as it were. And I'm going to duplicate it so, that, so I'm going to try and map out some of these space, these not spaces, these modular objects. And if you're like me, you'll find this structure very, very mind blowing if you start to think about how it's laid out. It's, it's like a 3D chess game. So this, this, what I'm doing here, I feel that this is the best way to approach the composition by mapping it out with these simple blocks to start with. So that's those two. And then this one's down here somewhere. So bring it back. Okay. And there's one here. So duplicate. Take it there. It's a bit more in front of this one than this one. And a bit to the left. And where are some other ones like this? One, two, three, four. Okay, there's one here. So that's a bit lower than that one. So duplicate. Take it down. And I think that's all of them facing this direction from this view. And now you've got quite a few of these facing in this direction. So go to the top view. And I want to rotate one of these this way. So duplicate again. R. That will do for now. Okay, so it's rotated 90 degrees almost. Take it back to perspective. And voila, it's looking quite interesting already. So again, this one is this one, and that one can be this one. I'm going to move it around like so. So it's going to go up there. And looking at some more of the ones at 90 degrees, so there's one down here, so it's kind of like this direction here. And duplicates, pull it back, like that, duplicate again. This one's coming out here. And there's one back there. And there's one down here, which is above that one. So I'm going to duplicate that, take it down. Okay. So we've done quite a bit of work on this already, so make sure you save your work. So save as. This is going to be Mont Habitat 67.3. So don't save over your old files. Because then you can go back if you make a mistake. So as you can see, this structure is starting to take shape. So I'm going to select all of them. And move them down to the plane. There's a kind of wall here. Add cube.
scale cube. Take cube along, extrude it. Take cube along, extrude it. Yeah, so there you go, that's the kind of wall there as well. And that's about it for blocking it out. Actually, I'll start to, for this video, I'll start to work on this bit here. So this is where the detail, this is where I want the, the final artwork to be detailed. And then, as with regards to these bits, it might even be empty space. It's like very conceptual, expressive and we detail in on this part of the building, and then as it goes further away, it might even deconstruct or defragment. you know, very architectural. When I was studying interior design at Edinburgh College of Art, you know, the word, I used to go on about deconstruction a lot, which was a architectural movement as well as a philosophical movement. But anyway, enough of that. So what I'm gonna do is to loop, cut, and slide again and take it around to around about here i think actually take it further back and then take this one further back because that's actually behind the that bit and you can see this goes down in an l shape so go to face extrude down So you've got this nice L shape happening here. Okay, and then you could be mistaken that this is on the same, that this bit's on the same plane, but this is actually more in front. So it's probably about here where that will extrude from. So again, your old friend loop, cut and slide for now take it to there so I'm going to want to extrude this out here the whole piece edge in fact for now I'm going to move it out so I can see it it looks like we've duplicated that I'll delete that so take that out and select all the faces here E to extrude and I want a nice long bit there because that goes out quite in a long way so now this is this element here and actually I've made a mistake because I've extruded too much here so I'm going to take that back and Control Z, by the way, if you need, to, and I'm gonna just remember to, remember to extrude this top bit, make it nice and long. So now, as you can see, it's this L shape here with the gap here that's going to be the, the whole bit. But then again, I've made another mistake because I've extruded it here. So only this bit. Great. So move it back. Select this face bit on the bottom. Pull it down. Voila, so it's looking quite good now here. Move this element up a bit and I'm just going to make some windows for you as the last thing in this blocking out this blocking out exercise. So I've got these windows here. Tab. Actually, again, I'm going to move this out so we can work on it on its own without the distraction of the other elements. And tab. Loop cut slide. First window is about here. So that's going to be that edge of the window. 
the end of that window is about here. Then loop cut the slide again. That window is about here. And the other end of the window is there. So loop cut and slide. The bottom of the window. And then we've got windows on this side. One, two, three. But for now, I'm just going to do this window and this window. And I'm going to cheat a bit because it's a bit that's. No, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to do this window here. So loop, cut, and slide. So that's going to be that window. I'll do that window later on. And then this window in here. Again, loop, cut, and slide. Loop, cut, and slide. Oops. Loop, cut, and slide. Face select, this one, this one, this one, extrude inwards. Face select, extrude inwards. E, extrude inwards. And then E, extrude inwards. I'm going to work on that more. I mean, the windows aren't really exactly in place. So I'm going to work that more in the time lapse that you actually have to pay for, but don't worry if you can't afford it because, or you don't want to pay for it, um, because at the moment this gives you a good idea of what I'm going to do. And then, as you see in the next tutorial, the finalized model, when we come into, you know, adding the drawings in, the traditional drawings, and um, working critter. But as I say, if you want to buy the the extras, the time lapse, and you also get the scene, the scene of this one, and the biosphere model as as it goes. And um, that's great, and I look forward to doing the next chapter. And again, check out my website as well for tutorials, tips, and some of my artwork. It's www.jamesableart.com. Okay, speak soon. Bye.